So you're probably watching this video trying to figure out what the best SWE wallet is. Well, you're in luck because SWE wallet by Mistin Labs has just dropped on iOS and Android and I'll walk you through the whole setup and how to find it. But first, let's uh, actually get some tea. I moved down to Tennessee. Honestly, I've been like obsessed with tea in a good way. So, um, but let's get straight into the video and talk about Sui Wallet and how easy it is to get started. Also, it's like raining right now, so I thought it'd be easier to do it indoors instead of outdoors, even though I do love outdoors and I burn like crazy. But jumping in, first thing you want to do is go to SuiWallet.com and there'll be two different options. We have iOS and we have Google. So whichever device you're on, you will click that. So I'm on iOS and it'll bring me up to the Sui Wallet mobile. And the best part is to make sure it is the correct wallet, it will actually say Mistin Labs. There have been people actually scammed in the past from other developers posting scam links and completely copying the UI so it looks like it's the right wallet when it's actually not. So then you'll just open and create the wallet. And honestly, that's probably the biggest part because the next part will be going by super duper quick. So when you go into your phone, you'll click Sui Wallet. And honestly, it is crazy fast. I'm pretty sure that was like 0 0.3, 0 0.4 seconds. The best part is, just like we said before, we have ZK login. So we can actually log in with our Gmail account or our Twitch. So whichever one you want, put in and get started. Or if you do also want to go the old web three route, you're also able to create a new passphrase account or more options, which will basically be saying import private key or import passphrase from other wallets you have created. So we'll just be signing in with Google. Okay, so there are two features that they already have unlocked for you to have, which honestly is all about security. So require a pin to unlock your wallet. I say yes. Confirm transactions is also a yes. So personally, I would just leave the screen and hit next. And we're actually able to allow face ID. So we'll hit allow. It will scan my face. It'll say welcome to Sui wallet. And then we just wait a little bit. Okay, so then it will it should take five to ten seconds. Actually, mine only took two seconds. So if it takes longer than that, I highly recommend fully exiting the app and just redoing exactly what you just did. So signing with Google, have face ID and transactions unlocked, and you'll basically be in. So the next thing is turn on 2FA. Okay, then we'll hit agree. So right now we are starting our SWE journey and obviously there is nothing in here. So what we'll be doing is we'll actually be putting some SWE to this address and right below it, it actually does show our wallet address. And honestly, this is probably one of my favorite features is you're actually able to show someone a QR code. So if you want someone to basically just scan your phone, they're right next to you or you want to send this, to somebody, they have your QR code, and then you're able to basically put that in instead of sending over your wallet address, which honestly, I think is a super cool feature. So if you do want to access that, you'll just go to the top right and it'll say, Sui me, I love that, or Sui me, I, oh my gosh, am I ever gonna get that right? Probably not. Or you could also hit scan code, which will bring up the camera, which is honestly super duper fun. So let me actually add some SWE really quick and I'll be right back. So the cool thing is I actually made a ZK send link for some SWE. And when I actually open that link, it will bring me into the SWE wallet app and saying, hey, assets are ready to be claimed. You can hit next. And the best part is right here, it says powered by ZK send. 
I will make a full video on how to work ZK Send again, because I feel like it's got lost in time and it works well with wallets and also sending it to anybody you want. So we'll hit next. And right now, basically the process is, hey, we're taking 25 SWE from the ZK Send that you were sent and already claimed, I think that took under 10 seconds, which is pretty cool. So then we'll just hit done and good ciao. We basically see that we have 25 SWE. At the very top, your portfolio will actually be in USDC or USD. And if you do go on assets, this is basically where all the fun stuff is at for the NFT side and the kiosk side. So since we don't have any NFTs on here, nothing will be showing up at that time. But probably my favorite thing on this is they make it simple and very, very easy to figure out. So they put everything that is popular at the very top. So we have Sui friends, we have Sui name services, uh, we have Bluefin, we have the Sui coin flip, we have Aftermath, we have Scallop, we have Turbos, Buckets, all the fun stuff that you need to get started. And if you want to, you can also type in addresses in here to go to certain applications. For example, if I want to buy a NFT, I can go to Hyperspace or I can go to Tradeport. So from here, if I just type in Tradeport.xyz, and then I'll hit visit. It will lock me in saying, hey, there is currently a price pool that's going on with Sui. Honestly, it was really fun, um, but we're looking to purchase our first NFT under 25 Sui. So if we go into the top right hand corner, we'll hit connect wallet. We have a Sui wallet right there. It says Sui wallet. That's how easy it is. And we'll say, hey, we are connecting you to Tradeport. And then from here, you can honestly decide which NFT you would like. And it'll show you what is trending and all the other fun ones. So basically, you can also see right here, the very top. So Tradeport, for example, is multi-chain. So you will have to click on this little SWE icon right there. And then from here, you're able to see all the fun stuff happening in the SWEverse. So we'll actually be looking to get a unchained NFT. So right now the floor is 1385. We'll snag that guy. So we'll just click on him and we'll hit buy, buy NFT. And I'll say we are registering. We hit approve and then we wait a little bit, which was pretty fast <laughs> and boom, <laughs> we, we bought our first NFT. So that is how easy it is to purchase an NFT and get started on the Sweet ecosystem. But we'll just hit the quick X and then they'll basically bring us back and it'll also say at the very top which apps you're connected to or dApps. I highly suggest after using every single D app to revoke trust. Doesn't matter which application, it's always a great thing to have. Sui does have good security, but it's better to be safe than sorry. So if you are looking to disconnect from a site, you'll hit connected apps, disconnect. And just like that, we are disconnected. So the next thing we basically want to do is say, hey, do we want to, you know, let's say stake some SWE? Well, we can. So we can either go to Navi or Scallop. Let's just hit Scallop. And just like this, we're getting started. So we'll hit connect wallet. Right now we have SWE wallet. We'll hit connect and it will load. So after purchasing the NFT, we do have 11.164 SWE left. So the UI is a little bit weird. So it shows you right here. So you'll just click the little icon on the right hand side, which will push it back and say, hey, this is what the incentives are right now. So Basically, if we look, we have a supply bonus. So it's 4.16 plus 16.73. So that basically should be around 
eight-ish, kind of around there. Trevin's math is not the best at times, so we'll just hit supply. And we want to say, hey, there we go, 20.89. Okay, Trev was kind of close. So then we'll just hit how much Swede do we want to stake? So, or supply to scallop. We'll say we are willing to supply five SWE. Then we'll hit supply and stake SWE. Then it'll tell you at the very bottom. And then we'll hit approve. It will face ID. So we go through the process. And it should take two to three seconds for it to supply with scallop. And it says, hey, you've supplied five SWE. You could also click on the transaction right there if you'd like to see that is now on scallop staking five SWE. So then we can just hit exit and let's go back to assets and we'll just hit refresh. And it looks like it's not showing up at that time. Okay, so it's not liking us right now. I think honestly it just needs a little bit of time to update. And then if we go basically to activity, we're actually able to see what happened. So if we click on this right here, It'll say your balance was changed by 13.83, which was the NFT we just purchased off of Tradeport. Then if we go to the one above it, this is where we supplied the five SWE to Scallop. And if you even want to, instead of going through that whole process, they make it very simple. So you could also just hit start staking right here. I just wanted to show you different options. So right now, you basically are understanding staking. We have native staking, which we just did with Scallop, or you could also do liquid staking too. So again, we'll just do standard staking, and then in another video, I'll go over liquid staking. I suggest using both. So we'll just hit na native staking. So this is with a validator. So you won't get as high as APY. So that's how we're able to go with Scallop and actually have a lot more utility kind of in a way to get higher APY. So instead of 3.65, we would be getting the 20.89. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so if we go back to staking, we can do liquid staking and we could do aftermath if we want to. So we'll just be doing two and then we'll hit start now. Stake now, not start now. And it's loading and transaction. And that was the, f I didn't even have time to react and boom, it's already done. So this turned my suite into liquid staking and we're staking right now. And the best part is, which I love, it will show you down below, right below your sweep of how much you're actually staking and right above it. So it says, we're liquid staking to SWE right now. Also, if you do want to swap, there is a swap feature, which is very, very simple. So you can go to SWE. Uh, we'll just put in one so I can hit the down arrow. And then it will calculate. So if you also want to swap into different coins, there are a bunch to work with. Obviously we see our good guy FUD over there and a lot of ones that are also verified. So to be honest, I would probably go after the verified meme coins or just in general, any coin that you're looking to swap. So I'm going to get out of that and basically go back to apps. And there is a new ag aggregator basically out there called hop aggregator and they're fantastic they're very fast so if you go to hop.ag we'll hit go and they have a fantastic swapping feature too i actually like this a little bit better because the fees are a little bit lower so we'll just hit connect we'll hit sweet wallet we'll hit connect so right now we have 4.1 sweet left over so we basically want to put this into FUD. So we'll take two SWE and we'll get six mil FUD. Am I reading that right? Yes, Trevin can do his math, I hope. And then we'll just hit trade and we'll hit approve. It will scan my face ID and it will take about a second to two seconds and, and we're done. So just like that, Hop makes it fast 
and easy. So if you're looking for a fantastic aggregator for swapping, I highly recommend a hop aggregator. They are amazing and I'm really happy that they kind of like evolved on SWE and the team is very dedicated to make SWE easier, faster and cleaner. And the best part is it's actually only going to improve with the newest update from SWE. And we'll just hit X. I remember what I said, disconnect from all. So since we did connect to Scallop and Hop, we're actually able to hit disconnect all and boom, all disconnected. And one of my favorite parts is, I know sometimes when you put something into a browser on the mobile device, it actually gets rid of it and you're not sure. Well, the best part is with this app, you're actually able to put in websites and have them stay so you don't forget but you also can clear at the very top where it says clear all. We'll just hit cancel and go back. So to be honest, I really just wanted to kind of make that video and show you guys how easy it is to get started on the SWE mobile side. This app is honestly game changer compared to Ethos and, but coming in second, I highly recommend using Nightly. They are another second contender, which I highly recommend. They're also multi-chain and the UI is very simple to use. I hope you guys enjoyed this new style of content and I will see you in Web3.